So here, first we'll prepare a block with the attributes. So I'll take an example. I'll just make a simple example of tour. Taking a circle size of three feet and adding some lines and one inches distance inside the tour and removing the extra part. Now here I'm giving the attribute definition inside it. For that, I'll take a command a double t enter. And from here, I'll define the definition. I'm defining a tag id and in id, I'm giving a definition d and we'll define the text size here and do ok. And place under that object. Next again, I'll take some definition by pressing the enter key again and I'll type here. I'll give the next attribute size and size I'll define 3 feet into 7 feet and I'll place this data under the object. Now we'll convert this all into a single block. We'll take a block tool by shortcut B enter and we'll give the name to this block tool and we'll define the pick point and we'll select this object enter and do OK. Now this object is converted into block. Now for inserting the block into file, we'll type I enter and we'll see any block that we have created. We can look here and we'll find the block is available. We can take this block and we can insert it to file and do OK. Now we'll find that when we select this block, the attribute will also get selected with the block. Now to explore this attributes from the block, we can take the tool from here, explode attributes and we select our block file and enter and we'll find that this block and attributes both are get separated with each other. Now after editing, you can also edit the text here. You want to edit a text, you can double click on the text and you can change it as well. Now we'll see how we can use the same tool by using shortcut keys. I'll take this block again from the toolbar and do OK and we'll type the shortcut BUR or BURST and we'll select that block object and enter and we'll find that this is again get exploded. So this is how we can use explode attribute tool.